Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here. Um, bef and I'm I'm back for another video. I'm back for another rant because at the moment I'm pissed off. Like I know, like loads of Yugi tubers have been going on about it. I know, like Capital G has gone on about it, and he made a lot of valid points. Check out his video if you didn't. Um, but today I'm going to be discussing um the whole thing with the ban list but before I do that if you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe that would be very much appreciated but without further ado let's go into this discussion at the moment Konami are really really being bad to the community um, you know like they're they are just not communicating to us like at the moment you know this this ban list came out in August, 20, 28th of August 2016, so that's like, six months six months, nearly, pretty much nearly seven months, seven months since um, nearly seven months since they dropped a ban list, and you know, I'm 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 starting to lose my mind here because it's getting to the stage where it's like, do, do you want to ban it and anything, or do you, do you just do you want to just sit down and you know, like, do nothing I like, I'm we we as a community don't know what's going on. We don't know if there's if there's going to be a ban list. We don't know if um, if Konami want to be kind and you know just at least communicate with us. We don't know anything. Like it's it's different. It's different if they were communicating to us. It would be much different if you know they were um, they they were had like had a twitter page and they were saying you know we're working on this ban list we're working on it you know which is we're just really struggling at the moment or something like that but you're not you're you're just pretty much just hiding in the corner you we don't know what's going on it's it's fucking stupid now like i i'm just a, i'm usually just a casual player but i'm going to be preparing for regionals um i live in england and I'm going to be preparing for regionals because I'm going to be going to regionals. And at the moment, I don't know if the cards I want to invest in are worth investing in. Because, you know, a, a ban list could drop tomorrow. It could drop, like, in two days' time. I don't know these things. Like, we, we as a community don't know these things. We do not know. We do not know if, you know, if um, Konami want to drop a ban list we don't know if a ban list is even a thing to them anymore like i know the whole thing with link summoning is coming out soon i understand that i understand that link summoning is going to change the game but it's going to change the game in five months time and we cannot stay on the same format for five months zodiac is out of control i think we can all agree with that zodiac this whole archetype is out of control we don't we like I I don't even think like we need to say this archetype's out of control. We don't know if they want to hit hit um stuff directly. We don't know if they want to hit indirectly. You know we we're, we're playing since like what's it called um since pendulum <laughs> since when pendulum was out of control and like what's it called monkey board was uh, when monkey board was banned like Cosmo Cosmo um were really strong and P PK fire and burning abyss. This was ages ago. This was last year. And like now look at the format we're at. Like to be fair, the only deck that is truly out of control is Zodiac. And like we're play we're playing on on the ban list that like is is just is was supposed to be for, like for last year. Like I was expecting personally like um you know Banlist comes out like early February or something before um, Raging Tempest comes out, and then we see what's going to happen. Like if Zodiac goes out of control, then we they they drop another ban list, and you know then we can play from there. Like that, what I th I think would have been better, you know, that way um, Konami have it a bit more organized, or at least they communicate with the um, with the. Uh, with the community because at the moment it's the meta is very one-sided and when I say one-sided it's kind of just Zodiac goes in every single deck and that's how it is apart from that like it's it's very self-explanatory on what everything is it's like you know it's it's boring I'm bored as fuck because I don't know what's going to happen 
I don't know what's going to get banned. And, like, I'm sitting here, like, my main deck at the moment is Shirinui. And I'm playing that a lot. I don't know if I should get myself two Cyframe Lord Omegas, because, like, next week Cyframe Lord Omega could be put to one. Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't a cheap game, you know? Like, if you want the top-tier stuff, then you have to invest. Like, when I bought a Crystal Wing, it cost me £25. That's a lot of money. That is a hell of a lot of money for one card. And at the moment, that card's going for, like, £50. You know, this... this We're playing on this ban list, right? Off this ban list, right? Monkey Board is banned. I right, again. Um, Kaiser Coliseum is banned. No one cared about that. You know, Seer, you know, and all these sort of cards are on the ban list. This was last year meta. This is old. You know, we're, this is an ancient time. Like, where on earth is Zodiac? Why is Norden still, um, still limited? Why is he still here? You know, there are so many cards right now that are out of control. And Konami haven't addressed them. Like, Omega should be here. Omega should be, clearly should just be limited. Like, there's no question there. Like, there are so many th problems that the game has. And the fact that if you don't... If Konami don't drop a ban list quickly... What's going to happen is they're going to have so many cards... That are going to be out of control. There's going to be... We've got Zodiac. There's going to probably be more archetypes coming out. More um, TCG exclusive archetypes that could be very strong. I mean, look what happened with Cosmo. Cosmos were very strong. And they were TCG exclusive for a long time. You know, we've got Kaijus as well. And Kaijus with Interrupted Kaiju Slumber is a bit out of control. I don't agree with that card personally. And yeah, but that's for a different video. Um, but, you know, we've got all of these cards here that are just ancient now. You know, no one cares. Stormforth. Like, yeah, of course that card w needed to be hit at the time. Of course it's going to stay limited. I don't, I don't want it to come off, but... There should be more cards on here and more cards taken off. Like, this is old. This is all very, very old stuff. And, you know, the only way you're going to actually gain people's trust is by communicating to them. Like, Twitter's a thing, you know. You've got a website. The internet is a thing. You know, like, there's no reason why you can't just update the um, the website and say, okay... We're sorry for for lack of um, communication. Like, um, we're very we're very sorry for that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a ban list, yada yada yada, or at least say when you're going to upload it, um, do it, or like when um, or why you haven't done it. Give us reasons, you know. Like Call of Duty, they update and patch the game like whenever they see a problem. League of Legends drop um. A patch every two weeks no matter what or occasionally they'll stall it for one more week so three weeks but at least they have the will to communicate even if i know league of legends is different to Yu-Gi-Oh. i know th like four months three four um four months is different to two weeks but at least there's organization there there is no organization here at all like let's look at the calendar like this is march this ban list was dropped in August. What the flying fuck, Konami? Wake the fuck up. Get off your ass. And start hitting some cards. Otherwise, there will be problems in the future. Not with us. Because personally, as a person who tends to play more off-meta. I know it's not really going to affect me as much. But it's affecting so many people, especially people who are playing competitively. Like, if if people weren't playing competitively at all, then, like, you know, and, like, it, I guarantee you people wouldn't be as, as, like, like, wouldn't care as much. But the meta exists. There are cards that are out of control. They're, you know, Kirin is still a thing. Kir Kirin is, where is Kirin? Kirin is still a thing. This cunt should be right up here and not down there. Norden is still a thing. You know, there are so many cards here and even, even like, in general that are just free to walk around. And, you, you know, like, wh wh how do we respond to that? 
we can't. We can't respond to this because, you know, what, what are we supposed to say? Oh, Konami, we want a ban list. I mean, they know we want a ban list, but they just can't be asked to get up and just put it on. Like, I'm getting very impatient with this, you know. There have been so many videos, like Capital G's video. He made it the other day. You know, what's it called? Sam from um, Team Samurai X made it. And they're making very valid points. And at the moment, if there was a valid excuse for why a valid excuse then that is okay but the reason for why i'm pissed off is because there is no reason for why there can no be not be a ban list what oh what the person who um does the ban list called a sicky the other day well why the heck is the ban list been like we haven't had a ban list for half a year on average there should be at least three ban lists in one year and so far how many have we got this year so far none and we're in the third year of um third month of the year and unless they're going to communicate with us i think they're just going to lose people's trust they've lost mine for the time being until i see something on twitter or like um or on their website i'm just going to be losing losing my mind because i'm just thinking well i could buy another copy of uh solemn strike but then loads of people are thinking it could get limited so that's 20 pounds down the drain for me I could think I could buy um I could buy like I don't know Terra Top if I wanted to but you know I can't because I, I, people are thinking it's going to get hit. I mean I th I know it's going to get hit personally but you know what what are we supposed to do? Like we can't do anything. We just have to wait. And this is lazy. Like I'm bored of waiting. Like people are bored of waiting. People are just saying, "You know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to go and do something else because this is just slow, it's lazy, it's boring, and like, I'm just sitting here thinking, God fucking damn it, what are you going to do, Konami? <sighs> anyway, enough bitching for me. My name's Alex, or Sosa Bennett. If you enjoy the video, or have your own view, I would like you to just put that in the comment section below. Messi and, um, like, tell me what you think they need to do, or just, like, your your opinion on it. Because I'm I'm bored. I'm fucking bored now. Anyway, my name's Alex and I will speak to you guys later. Peace.